Good day, everybody. I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough of what you get when you order a GOAT multi-tool. So here's the box, and inside, there you have it. All of them come with a free sheath. Inside you have the tool. You have an extra storage pocket and two elastic loops on either side for pens, flashlights, and other accessories. For your full walkthrough of the sheath, we'll have a video posted right up here. And now for the tool itself. It comes pre-installed with a deep carry pocket clip. And with a two millimeter screw, you can remove it, replace it to any one of these four locations. At the base of the tool, we have a very large flat area, which is meant to be used as a hammer, a pommel, um, I've even heard it called a thwacker, which is one of my new personal favorites. Some people think it looks a little bulky, but it was a very specific design choice. There are other multi tools in the market with hammers, but they put them down at the opposite end and it adds to the entire size of the tool an extra weight. What we did was capitalize on the space already used for the bottom of the pliers and just built it out so that it was a usable surface. Now we had to change the pivot points and redesign the handles a little bit to make sure that it would clear those corners. One of the other added benefits of that is now there's no pinch gap. Any longtime multi-tool user has guaranteed gotten a blood blister at some point right in there for multi-tools pinching up, but not here. So we've got spring-loaded pliers. We've got the needle nose, the standard, and the replaceable cutters. For full video on our cutters, post a video up here. Now, these are also a two millimeter screw. Take that out, rotate it 60 degrees, and you've got a fresh edge. Now, our replaceable cutters are made out of 440A hardened steel. They are not carbide. During our testing, we discovered that carbide cutters were far too brittle and much more susceptible to cracking and breaking. Now, it defeats the entire purpose of having a rotatable cutter if it cracks and breaks on the first edge, then you never get to utilize the other two. Hence, three-sided 448 cutters. Closing the pliers, we get back out to the outside of the tool. You notice all the other implements are outside accessible. One-handed opening for all of the long outside tools. They'll lock into place. Pressing down on the internal tools will unlock them. To get a closer look at that, open this up so you can see better. The hot swap groove that's built into all the tools is also utilized as our locking mechanism. The section of the handle is a leaf spring that locks into that little groove. Pressing down on the internal tools, you should be able to see pushing that leaf spring open, which disengages the lock. So fully locked, press down on the tools, and there you go. And for our friends in the UK, as well as other parts in the world that cannot have locking knives, we have non-locking versions. No modification to the tool itself. The only modification is done to the base of the tools where that little sharp corner usually is and locks in. This one is rounded, so with just a little bit more pressure, it disengages. Still snaps open nicely, holds it, but non-locking by most international standards. And hot swap lever, open the tool, open the hot swap lever until it hits the detent, stops right about there, slide it perpendicular to the tool, Grab the implement you want to put back in, slide it in, close the hot swap lever, close the tool like you would otherwise. Moving over to the other side, we have the saw, also one-handed deployable, unlocks the same way, push down on the small tools, close it up. All of the smaller tools have a nail nick built into them. As you notice, I don't have long nails, but it doesn't take a whole lot. Pull them out, pick the tool you need. And we've got the large flathead with a 10 millimeter wrench. 
Got the small flathead with a quarter inch driver. Six millimeter should also fit in there. And this two millimeter fits all of the screws on this tool. For the pivots on the tools, the pliers, the pocket clip, and the earlier mentioned replaceable wire cutters. None of the screws on this tool are proprietary. It is meant to be completely disassembled and modified and customized however you want. These are standard M3 screws. It comes with the pan head screws. If you get the scales, they ship with flat head screws. You can also lastly, we have the reamer or all. It is the same profile as the brass one that we saw as a carbon scraper. And they all lock in the same way outside tools do. Press down on the internals, close it up. Moving over to the other side, we have the main blade. Unlocks the same way. Press down on that side. And on this side, we have our scissors. You'll open all the way up, they'll hit a stopping point. And then this main arm needs to be pushed down a little bit further to lock it open and engage the spring. Pretty easy to do one-handed. And for their bit driver, it's got a nail nick in the same location as all the other small tools. It is centered on both axes. For full video on our bit driver, there is a video. We'll link it up above. You'll notice there's no more short tools to press down to unlock this one. So slightly opening any of the other implements on the same pivot, which means your knife, your scissors, or the hot swap lever will disengage that lock. Try to get so the camera can see it. Slightly opening it disengages that lock. Now what I will recommend to do if you do decide to use the hot swap lever, since its main function is to release the tools from the pivot, you don't want to open it up all the way. Just open it up just enough until it disengages and then close the hot swap lever and then the tool. Because if you try to do it same time, it will bind. And that is just the nature of the hot swap modular pivot system. So you open it just enough until the lock disengages, close the hot swap lever, and then close the tool. And there you have it. You'll also notice that we do sell a whole bunch of different add-ons for you to be able to customize and modify your tool. Different aesthetics, different tool choices, this platform is designed to be a starting point for all the creativity that this community can bring into this. And we're very excited to see everything you guys do with it. All right, go out there and fix something. Take care.